Hi there! In this video we're still looking at ratios. You've already learned how to simplify a ratio so that 2 to 6 means 1 to 3. But the question now is when we've got a whole load of items, how many of those items belong to the first part of the ratio and how many of those items belong to the second part of the ratio. So in other words, we are going to be dividing in a ratio. If you remember, we've already compared ratios and we know that ratios are important for other sections of maths. So let's hop right in. If we have a container full of yellow and red balls in the ratio of 2 to 6 and suppose we have 40 balls in total, we want to work out how many of those balls are yellow and how many of those balls are red. We know that for every two yellow balls there are six red balls but when it comes to a whole number of balls, we need to figure out how many are of each there are. So let's have a look at this story. Suppose we have Spoo to Nandi getting Spoo gets one red ball for every two green balls that Nandi gets. And we have a container of 210 balls. So the ratio is one red to two green. But the question is, if we had 210, how many of those would belong to Spoo and how many of those would belong to Nandi given this ratio? So the first thing to do is to say, well, if Spoo gets 1 and Nandi gets 2, then the total number is grouped into 3s. Okay, 1 plus 2 is 3. So if every group has 3, the question is how many groups are there? Take the total and divide by 3. And that means there are 70 groups of 3 to make 210. In that group, for every group of, that we've got of 3 balls, all those 70 groups, Spoo will get 1 and Nandi will get 2. So to work out Spoo's portion, we say 1 times 70. And to work out Nandi's portion, we say 2 times 70. So Spoo gets 70 of the balls and Nandi gets 140 of the balls. We can write that also in the same ratio, and this ratio is equivalent to the ratio 1 to 2, but it tells us how many balls they each get. And you can check that Spoo gets 70 and Nandi gets 140 by adding 70 and 140 and getting 210. Alright, there's another way that we could do this question that... Um, I want to show you over here. So we've still got the same situation, but we're going to also look at the total. So Spoo gets one portion for every two portions that Nandi gets, and the total is three portions, as we've said. Now, we don't know how many items Spoo gets, and we don't know how many items Nandi gets, but we know that in total there are 210 balls. I've used a placeholder for Spoo, and a placeholder for Nandi. And I'm going to show you a little way of doing the calculation that can help you with all ratios. So let's just take Nandi out of the picture for a moment and look at Spoo. We want to know the placeholder X. So we draw a vertical and a horizontal line and target the X. Now the two numbers that the line has gone through, the 1 and the 210, we multiply those two numbers together and we divide by the other number. So to work out Spoo's portion of 210, we say 1 times 210 and we divide it by 3. And we get 70, which we expected to get, right? Because 210 times 1 is 210, divided by 3 is 70. If we remove Spoo for a moment and look at Nandi, we do the same. A vertical and a horizontal line to target what we are looking for. The vertical and the horizontal line, the two numbers that those lines have gone through, we multiply them together and we divide by the other number. So 2 times 210 divided by 3. You can first do division if you like and then multiply. You already know 210 divided by 3 is 70 and 70 times 2 is 140. So that's another way of doing this question. And again, you can check and you can make sure that 70 and 140 is 210. Right, I hope you've learned something.